Hey everyone, so in this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to create and launch a mini course on Kajabi. The reason why I like to use Kajabi for mini courses is because they have a ton of templates, customizations, and pipelines that you can use to build your entire course within a couple of minutes. Mini courses typically have about, you know, maybe 30 to 60 minutes of content, just since it's not actually a full course. And the reason why this is really good is because you can give away your mini courses for free and sort of give your audience a teaser for the paid course essentially view it as a lead magnet. Mini courses are also great for saving your time because you can create small videos about a certain topic and test it in the market before creating the full course. What I do for my own YouTube Academy is I have a mini course that I give out for free. It's a teaser with about five of the different videos in the full course. And it's a great way to collect emails as well as to encourage your audience to try out your course. If they like it, they'll wanna see more of it and they'll likely purchase the full course. So I'll be showing you guys all the different features and things you can do within Kajabi when it comes to building out a mini course. And yeah, if you guys don't have Kajabi yet and you wanna try it out, you guys can use the link in the description down below to get started on a free trial. With that being said, let's jump into the tutorial. So if you guys go down to the description below and click on that link, it's gonna take you to this landing page where you can actually click start free trial. But if you guys already have Kajabi, then go to your dashboard. So once you're in your dashboard, you're gonna come here to products and then go to courses. From here, you're gonna click get started. Now with Kajabi, you can create a course, a podcast, a community, or even coaching. But of course, since we're trying to make a mini course, we're gonna select course and click get started. Here, you're gonna name your title of your course. So let's name this one mini course one. And then we're gonna write a brief description. This is a mini course. After that, I'll click continue. So here it's going to have you choose a template, AKA select one of these four things. So you have your online course, which is what you guys are going to do. You can also do a blank course. You can do a drip course, or you can do membership. Now, just for this one, we're going to select online course and I'll click continue. After that, it's going to have me upload an image for the course's appearance. Um, for now, I'm just going to skip this and I'll click save and finish. So I'm here in the main dashboard for my new mini course one. And you guys can see they have sort of have pre-populated this mini course with a few different modules. And you guys can sort of open these up and see what's in it just to get an idea of, you know, what they have. Of course, we'll be changing these PDFs. We can delete them if we want. And basically to do that, we'll come here to edit lesson. And what you can do is delete lesson right here. Another way you can delete it is by going here and clicking delete lesson like that. And then of course, confirming. But let's say we want to add some videos, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll come up here to add content and I'm going to click upload multiple videos. I'm going to go to my finder and I'm going to find those videos. So let's say I want to, you know, go here. Actually, maybe let's do this. And let's say I want to upload these two videos. So I'm going to drag those over here. And after that, I'll click upload and it's going to start uploading them. Cool. So now that that's uploaded, you guys are going to come down here and it's going to show upload the dates. And this is where the two videos I just uploaded are going to be. Now, of course, I'm going to rename this module. So let's name it something like module one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here. And voila, that is how you sort of rearrange these different modules. Let me actually draft these so that they don't show up in the actual course. And let's say that just for the sake of this video, we want to have this little introduction as well as module one, which includes two different videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click publish right here publish here, publish here, and bam. After that, you're gonna come here to edit video. It's going to allow me to change the title. I can choose whichever module it's gonna be in, so I'll leave it in module one. This is a little preview of what the video looks like. What you guys can do is choose a different frame for the thumbnail of the video. I'll click on this just to show you guys what it looks like. So what I can do is I can go to wherever I want to choose as the thumbnail, and then I can use current frame as thumbnail. And you guys can see it's changed that right here. Obviously, maybe not as good as the one we had before, but it's up to you guys. I'll just leave it like this for now. Here you can actually write a description. So this is the text that's going to show up underneath your video as your students are watching it. What I like to do here is, uh, you know, actually do a little quick summary of what I'm talking about in the video, as well as put any relevant links that may help the student. You may also actually add files that your students can download. So you guys can do that by clicking plus add files right here. And after that, you guys can come here and go to save. If you guys want to actually preview what this one video looks like, you can click this and you can see this is what it's going to look like. Now what I'm going to do is go back to mini course one. I'm going to come here to customize. And this is where you can actually install a different course template. So this is the standard one that comes 
with Kajabi, but they actually have quite a few. This one you can actually customize if you want, but if you want to actually install a completely new template, you can click here. It's going to bring up a few different templates that you guys can use for your course. And you can also purchase templates externally on different websites and upload that right here. But let's say I want to use this one. So I can click on this and install template. And that's going to install the templates for what I have right here. You guys can also come here to settings and change any of these things if you want. So of course, you're going to want to have some type of product thumbnail. I recommend creating something in Canva and then saving that right here. Now, one cool thing about Kajabi is it allows you to actually drip your content. So let's say that we have them join the course and we want module one. So these two videos to actually drip. So I'm going to click here and click drip and you can set the number of days that it's going to allow access after they enroll. So right now they get this module right when they enroll because it's set at zero. But if you want them to actually see the videos the next day, I can select one right here and then click done. There you can see this module is going to drip one day after they enroll in this mini course. Let's take a preview at what this looks like. I'm going to click here. You can see this is what my mini course looks like. Of course, you're going to want to actually you know, change this part so that it's you and your picture, as well as change up the text right here. As far as actually getting people into this free mini course, what I like to do is I like to create a form. So I'm gonna come here to marketing. I'll click on forms right here, click new form, mini course one enrollment, click save. And here you can choose if you want double opt-in or single opt-in. You can choose which fields you want them to actually enter. So if you want their name and their email, then you can leave it as is. Some people may not want the name, so you can X that out, but definitely you will want the email. And then what you're going to do here is go to plus add automation. And you're going to say when this form is submitted, then you're going to grant an offer. You're going to choose the new mini course, which you know I can't do since I already have three different offers on this account. But basically that mini course would be here and you're going to select that. This basically allows it so that people can submit a form and be automatically granted access to your mini course. All right, anyways, I hope you guys got some value out of this video. Feel free to reference it at any point. I know we covered a lot. And again, if you want to get an exclusive free trial to Kajabi, I'll be leaving a link down below in the description. Make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this, because this channel is all about giving you guys a bunch of free guides and tutorials uh, teaching you how to start your business. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.